Today we're going to continue with our ninth way of praying. Um, the ninth way of praying is Marian devotion. Um, the idea behind Marian devotion is that Mary, your blessed mother, um, is willing to intercede for you um, to, to her son, Jesus. Um, she's willing to bring your intentions to him um, if you ask her to. And this is connected to um, John chapter 19, um, verse 25 to 27, um, where Jesus um, gives his mother um, to the beloved disciple. And he gives the beloved disciple to his mother. And by extension, we are all beloved disciples, which means we can have a spiritual relationship with Mary as our spiritual mother. And, you know, Jesus... Being a, a good Jewish boy, um, he always listened to his mother, and and we should as well. Um, you know, the fact that Mary is a mother and a woman, um, for some, will make it easier um, because we can connect sometimes more e easily to her loving and maternal heart um, for each of us. Um, one way to, to cultivate devotion and a relationship, a spiritual relationship with Mary is to pray um, the rosary. And the rosary um, gives us a chance to meditate on Mary's life and on Jesus's life, um, to meditate on the Gospels. And even the Gospels themselves, the scriptures themselves, there's a number of um, passages where that mention Mary. And um, if you download this handout, um, you can find all the passages that men mention Mary. And a lot of those passages are reflected in the rosary. Um, the rosary, again, is an intentional way to pray um, for ourselves, to pray for others, and to pray for the world. And the rosary is made up of the mysteries of the rosary. So there's the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, the glorious mysteries, and the luminous mysteries. And the nice thing about the rosary is that you can actually memorize all 20 mysteries. Um, how can you do that? Well, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but the easiest way to do it is to realize that the mysteries are in chronological order. So, for instance, the Annunciation and then the Visitation and then the birth of Jesus, the presentation in the temple, um, losing Jesus in the temple, um, it's all in chronological order. And that's true for, for all the mysteries, the sorrowful, the glorious, and the luminous. And you know, another thing to think about is um, all the mysteries of the rosary um, have virtues or fruits um, that are attached to them. Um, so I've made this handout for you, and if you download it, you're going to find that there's 20 different fruits and virtues that are attached to each of one of the mysteries of the rosary. So, for example, the first joyful mystery, um, the Annunciation, um, the fruit of the mystery is humility. And what I find myself doing is I try to make a prayer um, with the mystery before I pray that decade. So let's say I was doing the joyful mysteries, and I could pray something like, Heavenly Father, um, help me um, to be humble. Help me to say yes to you um, as Mary does in her life, as Mary did in her life, and help me um, to... Say yes to you right now. Help me to get, say yes to you in whatever I'm doing right now. And then you would go into praying that decade um, with that intention in mind. Um, you would continue to the visitation. Uh, Mary visiting Elizabeth. The fruit of the mystery is love of neighbor or charity. Um, maybe there's someone you're struggling to love. Um, Heavenly Father, help me to love so-and-so. Um, you know it's a challenge for me to love this person. Um, give me the strength and the patience and the courage um, to love them. And then you go into praying the Our Father and the Ten Hail Marys and the Glory Be and the Fatima Prayer. And I've actually laid it all out for you here in this handout on um, how to pray the rosary um, in detail. So you might consider um, downloading that. And, and, and you also might consider memorizing the mysteries of the rosary. Um, because once you memorize them, then you can literally pray the rosary um, at any time and anywhere um, because you have 10 fingers, right? So 10 Hail Marys end up being your 10 fingers. 
Um, you pray it five times. Um, you can memorize the Apostles' Creed, and the, you can memorize um, all the prayers that go with the rosary. I mean, you know, some people have worried and wondered um, if you can love Mary too much. And the good news is that um, you will never love Mary as much as her son Jesus loves her. Um, so no, we can't love her too much. And in fact, her number one goal um, is to lead you um, closer to her, her son. Um, and she knows her son better than anyone else in the world. Um, and she wants um, to lead you closer to him. And so in the end, that's what Marian devotion and having a spiritual relationship with Mary is all about.